When you start to operate the ATV, your friends stay away from the machine and never let anyone stand in front of the ATV. Before starting out, look all around you to make sure that there's no one in the way. Gently push on the throttle until the ATV begins to move. But always remember where the brake handles are in case you have to stop quickly. When riding, always keep both hands on the handlebars and both feet on the running boards. Keep alert and know what's going on around you at all times. When following another ATV, stay back at a safe distance. An adult will help you determine what this safe distance is. Never ride on streets, roads, driveways, or other hard surfaces. Driving on such surfaces can make you lose control of your ATV. Remember that your ATV makes noise, so it will be hard for you to hear cars or trucks. And don't show off or perform jumps or stunts. Try to stay on level ground. Riding on hills can be dangerous. When there is a hill, make sure to go straight up or straight down the hill. Don't try to go across the hill from the side. We'll talk more about hills later. When there is a corner, go very slowly. If you go too fast around a corner, you could lose control and get hurt or die. Do not ride at night because the Youth Model ATV does not have headlights. Plan your ride so that you can get home before dark. Riding at night increases your chances of an accident and injury because you cannot see or be seen as well as during daylight hours. Never ride your youth ATV with a passenger. A passenger will make the ATV harder to drive and increases your risk of losing control. You may lose control and hurt yourself and your passenger. Do not use for nighttime operation. Moving your body weight while riding is important for you to maintain good control of your ATV during your ride. When turning, lean your body to the inside of the turn and support your weight on the outside footrest. When going uphill, move your body forward to shift your weight to the front of the seat. This will reduce the possibility of tipping over backwards. When going downhill, move your body to the back of the seat to transfer your weight to the back of the vehicle. This will reduce the possibility of tipping over forward. Pay close attention to the rider's body position on the ATV in all of the following demonstrations. Your ATV could flip over, and you could get seriously hurt or die if you do not shift your weight correctly. Correct starting procedures are as follows. Sit on the seat with both feet on the footrest. Check the parking brake, it must be on. Turn on the key switch. Turn on the auxiliary engine stop switch. Press the starter switch and start the engine. Then shut down the engine, checking the auxiliary stop switch. Restart the engine and release the parking brake. Always check your surroundings. Identify any potential hazards and determine your path of travel before starting out. Drive a few feet and then pull the brake handles to ensure proper operation of the brake system. With an experienced adult rider helping you, select an open level area to practice. Set up a practice course using markers or pylons. Do not overdrive your ability. Practice will increase your comfort and safety. To turn, steer in the direction of the turn, leaning your body to the inside of the turn while supporting your weight on the outer footrest. When climbing hills, you should drive straight uphill and move your weight forward to reduce the possibility of rear tip over and drive at a steady speed. Always avoid steep hills. Never operate this ATV on hills steeper than 15 degrees. This is what a 15 degree angle looks like. Whenever going downhill, you should drive straight downhill. Move your weight to the rear of the seat to reduce the possibility of forward tip over. Slow down and apply both brakes lightly. 
Side hilling your ATV is one of the most dangerous types of riding and should be avoided if possible. If you cannot avoid riding on the side of a hill, slow down. Lean into the hill, transferring your body weight towards the hill while keeping your feet on the footrests. If you are climbing a hill and have to turn around on the hill, you can use the K-turn. First, ride uphill past the point where you want to change direction. Then, stop and lock the parking brake while keeping your body weight uphill. Shut off the engine. Get off on the left or uphill side of the ATV. Staying uphill of the ATV, turn the handlebars all the way to the left. While holding the left brake, release the parking brake lock and slowly allow the ATV to roll around to your right until it is pointing across the hill. Lock the parking brake and get back on the ATV from the uphill side, keeping your body weight uphill. Restart the engine and ride slowly down the hill, controlling the speed with both brakes until the ATV is on level ground. Never try to cross a fast flowing stream as the large tires may float, causing loss of control. Now your ATV can operate through water up to a depth reaching the footrest. Before crossing streams, always find out how deep the water is. Choose a crossing where both banks have shallow inclines. Drive slowly, avoiding rocks and obstacles if possible. After crossing, dry the brakes by applying light pressure to the brake handles while the ATV is moving until the brakes work normally. Key points to remember. The most important thing is safety. Read and understand the owner's manual and warning labels. Learn the proper operation of the controls. Know the three ways to stop the engine. Engine stop switch, tether strap, and key switch. Always wear a helmet and other proper protective clothing. Make sure all the controls operate properly before starting the engine. Never ride without an adult watching or supervising. When riding, always keep both hands on the handlebar and both feet on the running boards. Never carry a passenger. And never ride on public roads. If you do not understand any portion of this video or how to safely operate the ATV, ask an adult for help. Remember to drive responsibly. Show respect to others and protect the environment. Any ATV can be dangerous if you do not follow the safety rules. But if you ride carefully and responsibly, they are a lot of fun.